Hello everybody, I'm Jonathan. Today I would like to explain and demonstrate the practice of Sima Mudra. Now, Sima in Sanskrit means lion and Mudra is a gesture. So Sima Mudra is the gesture of the lion. Sima Mudra has many beneficial effects. One of the most important of them is the expelling of negative ener energies from the system, like negative emotions like anger, hatred and anything like that, you can kind of vomit it out from the system with the practice of Sima Mudra. On the energy level, Sima Mudra is very beneficial to arouse Manipura Chakra, Ajna Chakra, the sixth chakra, and also there is a very strong effect of sublimation of energy, it means the energy rising up in the body and accumulate in this area. Let's continue with the instructions of the practice. So, first of all, sit with a spread knees and the big toes are either touching in the back or very close to each other. If you need, you can see, sit on a cushion to be a bit higher. It's a bit more comfortable for the low back. Then we excel forcefully through the mouth in that way. So the tongue is coming out and down as much as you can. At the same time, you get up to the sixth chakra, Ajna chakra. After, the, after you complete the exhalation, you hold the breath and you suck the belly in. You can even perform Udhyana Bandha. We are going to hold the breath for about 5 to 10 seconds. Then you inhale through the nose and close the eyes and relax for some time. While you're relaxing, st stay with the eyes closed and focus on the area of Ajna Chakra. Now, if this sitting position is not comfortable, you can sit in any other sitting position or even sit on a chair if you like. One more note before we start the practice. Sima Mudra can be quite strong for beginners. So if by any chance during the practice you feel headaches, dizziness or any other discomfort, then stop the practice and lie down for some time. While you're exhaling, you can visualize you expel negative energy to your mouth and you can start the practice, exhale forcefully with the tongue out and gaze up to the sixth chakra and hold the belly in, in Udhyana Bandha. Release the belly and inhale through the nose and relax for some time. And again, Exhale forcefully with the tongue out and look up to the sixth chakra and take the belly in. Continue to focus on the sixth chakra. Release the belly and inhale through the nose. Stay with eyes closed for some time. There is one more position to do this practice. In this one, the palms are on the ground and the fingers are towards the body. You can choose the one that you prefer and exhale forcefully, gaze up to the sixth chakra, suck the belly, the tongue is out. Release the belly, inhale through the nose and focus on Ajna chakra. And again, forceful exhalation, gaze up, suck the belly in, Release the belly and inhale through the nose. And the last round. Exhale forcefully, gaze up, tongue out, suck the belly in and focus on Ajna Chakra. Release the belly and inhale through the nose. In the end of the practice, stay with the eyes closed and observe the effects. Observe the rising of energy through the body to the level of Ajna Chakra. Sima Mudra can be quite strong practice. So I recommend to progress very gradually. You can start with about five rounds and then very gradually increase the number of rounds till about 10. 
Now, if you feel by any chance any discomfort, it creates any things not comfortable, then stop the practice and lie down for some time. Today we learn the practice of Sima Mudra. In the next classes, I'm going to show more exercises how to activate the chakras and also some exercises how to activate and control Kundalini energy. If you're interested to learn more pranayamas in depth, so please hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it to receive notifications. So thank you very much and Namaste.